Good day everyone, how are you today? I hope you're fine. We are now going to discuss about Z-test on the comparison between population mean and sample mean. Decision making is part of our daily lives. We are given different options. This situation is the same as testing hypothesis. Options can be treated as hypothesis. It is like process of selecting which of these options is the best solution to our problem. There are steps to follow to come up with a solution. Now, we will learn these steps. The first step in hypothesis testing is the for formation of the null and alternative hypothesis. Z-test on the comparison between the population mean mu and sample mean x-bar is used when the population mean mu and the population standard deviation sigma are known and mu is compared to the sample mean x bar. It is also important to identify the parameters or statistics involved in the problem to determine the appropriate formula. Read and understand the problems. Determine the values of the parameters, statistics, and sample size involved and formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. The owner of a factory that sells a particular bottled fruit juice claims that the average capacity of their product is 250 ml. To test the claim, a consumer group gets a sample of 100 such bottles calculates the capacity of each bottle and then finds the mean capacity to be 248 ml. The standard deviation is 5 ml. Conduct the test using alpha or the level of significance which is 0 0.05. Given sample size n is equal to 100. Parameter population mean mu is equal to 250. Population standard deviation, sigma, is equal to 5. Statistic, sample mean, x bar, is equal to 5. Formulation of null and alternative hypothesis. HO, the average capacity of the bottled fruit juice is 250 ml. In symbol, HO, mu is equal to 250. H1, the average capacity of bottled fruit juice is less than 250 ml. In symbol, H1, mu is less than 250. We used less than in H1 because the, aver the sample average is 248 pesos, which is less than the av population average, which is 250 pesos. A teacher conducted a study to know if blended learning affects the students' performances. A class of 30 students of grade 11 was surveyed and found out that their mean score was 83 with a standard deviation of 4. A study from other co country revealed that mean is equal to 80 with a standard deviation of 3. Test the hypothesis at 0.10 level of significance. Given sample size n is equal to 30. Parameter population mean mu is equal to 80. Population standard deviation sigma is equal to 3. Statistic sample mean x bar is equal to 83. Formation of null and alternative hypothesis. HO the mean score of students hypo for performances in blended learning is 80. In symbol, HO, mu is equal to 80. H1 or HA, that is the alternative hypothesis, the mean score of students' performances in blended learning is greater than 80. In symbol, H1, mu is greater than 80. We used greater than since the sample mean 83 is greater than the population mean 80. A parent claims that the average number of hours that the children are watching TV is 3 hours with a standard deviation of 0.7 hours. However, a sample of 50 parents were surveyed and found out 
that the average number of hours that the children are watching TV is 2.5 hours with a standard deviation of 0.5 hour. Test the hypothesis at 1% level of significance that the average number of hours is different from the true mean. Given sample size n is equal to 50, parameter population mean mu is equal to 3. Population standard deviation, sigma, is equal to 0 0.7. Statistic, sample mean, x bar, is equal to 2.5. Formulation of null and alternative hypothesis, HO. The average number of hours that the children are watching TV is 3. In symbol, HO, mu is equal to 3. H1 or HA, or the alternative hypothesis, the average number of hours that the children are watching TV is different from 3. In symbol, H1, mu is not equal to 3. We used not equal because it is indicated different from the true mean. Now here are the references. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please subscribe to Analyze Math.